Hi there guys, Justin here again. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be looking at services disabled versus services enabled. So essentially it's disabling services on versus off. So straight off the bat, I can tell you now, uh, by disabling services in CPU heavy games, you'll see quite a significant boost in 1% lows as well as people with low system memory such as 12 gigs or 8 gigs of RAM you're going to see a boost in RAM and CPU cycles or a reduction in RAM and CPU usage so I would just show you my task manager but unfortunately I'm using OBS to record as well as having Google open so this isn't a true reflection so I took some screenshots so when I had all my services that are enabled by default on you can see um, I've got 16 gigs of RAM. My memory usage was at 19%. And yeah, you can see performance. Just having uh, Windows at a state or idle, I had, was using 2.6 gigs of RAM. And then once I disabled services, you can see my memory usage dropped from 19% to 14%. And if you got eight gigs of RAM, that drop is gonna be even more significant. It's gonna be about almost like a 10% drop in RAM usage, which is awesome. So it was 2.6 gigs with services enabled. With services disabled, I'm only using 2.1 gigs to have Windows at idle. So guys, I did do a video recently, services safe to disable in 22H2. If you haven't uh, gone through, uh, watch that video, or if you haven't gone through disabling services, I highly recommend watching this video. I'll link this video in a thumbnail at the end of this video. So stick around until the end, click on that thumbnail, watch that, that video and disable the services. It has changed slightly from 21H2. Um, and previously there are certain services that if you disable, you're actually gonna brick your windows so i did some extensive testing and i've got the list of services that are absolutely safe to disable in windows 22h2 and that's in that video so just watch that but in the meantime i'll just show you the list these are the services that are absolutely safe to disable in windows and this list is in that video's description so please go ahead and watch that if you haven't disabled services just as of yet. So guys, yeah for the results. So let me get to the results. So all my games are tested at medium settings. Where FSR 2.0 or 2.1 was available, I used the quality setting. And I'm currently on the latest NVIDIA driver 528.02. So I only did this benchmark with my CPU heavy games because games that are GPU bound, you probably won't see much of an improvement. But for games that are CPU bound or CPU heavy, you're going to be see a nice reduction or a you know, nice improvement in 1% lows. So with services enabled, my two CPU heavy games are Spider-Man Remastered and Spider-Man Miles Morales. So for Spider-Man Remastered, my average FPS was 73 and then my 1% lows were 50. And then for Spider-Man Miles Morales, my average FPS was 65 and then my 1% lows was 36. So that gives me a total FPS over two games of 138. Average FPS per game over that benchmark is 69. And then my average 1% low is 43. So that gives me a stability rating of 62.32 when I still have all my services enabled. Now once I go ahead and disable services, and this is where it gets nice, it's free performance. Because for Spider-Man Remastered, um, my average FPS was 76. As you can see, there was a 3, three, uh, three FPS improvement in my average FPS. My 1% lows were 54. So you can see there's a nice 4 4 FPS improvement in my 1% lows. For Spider-Man Miles Morales, my uh, average FPS was 67, and then my 1% lows were 46. 
so that's quite a significant boost in performance there as you can see two extra fp average fps points and then a 10 fps jump in one percent lows so over the two games my my fps was 143 average fps per game was 71.5 but the thing is where it really improves is that my average 1% lows were 50 as opposed to 43. So my stability percentage is 69.93 versus 62.32. So you can see it uh, straight off the bat, you can see a 7% increase in stability in 1% lows. And that's just by disabling services. So guys, if you haven't disabled services that are safe to disable just yet, please watch the video. I'm going to link at the end of this video. You're going to get free performance for Jam. Anyways, I've done a lot of talking. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed just as of yet, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm looking to get a thousand subscribers as soon as possible. But it's Saturday. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your weekend. It's people like you. Cheers.